okay now the topic is probability now as the name implies probability just like probably you say probably i may you know that means chances of something to happen that means probability is chances of something to happen or to occur now in probability there are some things that you need to know the first thing to know in probability if a probability is half that means that thing is under maybe so for example if i say the probability that i will come tomorrow is half that means i may come or i may not come now if probability is one that means it's for sure now if i say probability that i will come tomorrow is one that means for sure i will come and the highest probability is one that means if you are solving probability you can't get answer more than one highest answer you can get is one or anything less than one so in probability if you solve if you get two you are wrong you cannot get two you can only get one highest as whole number or anything less than one now if probability is one it means it's for sure if probability is zero that means it can never it can never occur that means if probability is one and zero it can never occur so you need to know all these three times in probability if probability is half that means it's under maybe if probability is one that means it's for sure if probability is zero that means it can never happen now that is first thing you need to know in probability now another thing you need to know in probability is success probability of success plus probability of failure is equals to one now in probability we represent success as p we represent failure as q is equals to one that means success plus failure is one now everybody that will sit for jam this year everybody cannot pass and everybody cannot fail it is for sure you know i say one is for sure that means that is just probability success plus failure is always one now if you want to find q here do you know that q will be one minus p y p is one minus q that means failure is one minus success success is one minus failure now in jam they can't give you success and failure together they can either give you success or failure now if the question give you success to find the probability that it is failure you say one minus that means any one you have out of the two you say one minus to find the other one now let's say the probability that i eat a target probability that i eat a target is three over seven now if i eat a target is three over seven do you know that is success now what will be the probability that i will miss the target do you know that miss is failure now so far you have one of the success or failure to find the other one that means probability that i will miss the targets miss the target is one minus three over seven now what is one minus three over seven you need to find the lcm what is the lcm seven do you know this over one one is seven 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 minus three that is four over three so we are still doing success and failure now if the probability that a student will pass an examination if the probability that a student will pass an examination is three over four what is the probability that a student will fail probability that a student will pass 
is 3 over 4. Now, what is the probability that the students will fail? Now, I gave you sources. You need to find a failure. And I said anyone you know to find the other one. Just say 1 minus the one you know. Every time, 1 minus the one you know. LCM is what? 4. Then 1 in 4, 4. 4 times 1, 4. Minus 3. That is 1 over 4. Like that. Now, probability that uh, a man will succeed. Uh, or the probability that a man will not succeed. Probability that a man will not succeed is 1 over 9. What's probability that the man will succeed? Now, if a man will not succeed is 1 over 9, what probability that it will, uh, the man will succeed? So I said anyone you know to find the other one. You say 1 minus, so for anyone, LCM is 9. This over 1, that is 9 minus 1, that is 8 over 9. Now, this is very important to so anyone you know out of the two, success and failure. Now, if I say probability that red, uh, probability of red is, if I say probability, R, I'm using red, probability of red is 7 over 9. What is the probability of not red? You know, red is success, not red will be failure. Anyone you shall know. To find the other one, you say 1 minus 7 over 9. So that will be 9 minus 7. That is 2 over 9. That is not red. Because that will be failure. So that's how you can find success and failure. Now, the next one that I will do is now the definition of probability. Now, what is the definition of probability? Probability itself. Probability is equal to number of items number of item over total possible outcome. So that is the definition of probability. Number of item over total possible outcome. Now, based on this definition, now let's say I roll, I have a paper, I roll it, and I have numbers 3, 2, 1, 7, 9, 10. Now, if I ask you, how many paper do you have here? Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I have six papers and I have numbers inside. If I roll it and roll it on the floor, if I ask you, what is the probability that the number you pick is seven? Now what are you going to say? Probability that the number you pick is seven. Now, probability is number of items over total possible out outcome. Now what is the number of items? Yeah. The number of item here is seven. One and uh, seven. But how many seven do we have? Just one. That will be one over total possible outcome. How many numbers you have here in total? Three, four, five, six. Uh, over six. That means out of this six number, we have just one seven. So one out of six. That means the probability that we pick a seven here is one over six. Now, what's but if I change this to also to seven? Now, what's probability that I'll pick a seven again? Now, number of item. How many seven do I have now? Two, one, two. That is, I have two out of six, as in one, two, three, four, five, six. So, total possible outcome is always the total number you have. So that means in probability, the first thing you need to do is what is the total number. If you can know the total possible outcome, then you can solve the probability because everything must be over total possible outcome. Now, if this number also is 7, 
once probability that you pick a seven in that case probability that i'll pick a seven how many seven now one two three that will be i have three probability of picking seven now is three over how many numbers six so over six numbers you are always free to reduce if you like two year one two year three three year one three year two as in you can reduce but this is just illustration we are not solving yet now if this one also is seven what's probability probability of seven is four over six if this one also is seven probability of seven is five over six number of item over total possible outcome if the last number is seven probability is six over six six over six is what one what is one one is for sure that means if all the numbers are seven it is for sure that it is seven you will pick normal so that means probability here is just number of items over total possible outcome so look at this now if in a basket you have um, five red you have um, three yellow you have um, two black you have two blacks then what is the probability that if you pick a ball you will pick a yellow now in a bag i have all these colors what's probability that i will now pick a yellow like we say in probability first thing you need to do is what is the total possible outcome yeah total possible outcome is 10. now probability of yellow now how many yellow do you have in total i have three yellows that is number of item over total possible outcome so that is just probability number of items over total possible outcome now let's see examples to back all this uh, info and again what i need to include and in probability means times or in probability means plus so that means any times and join two probabilities together here yeah? you change it to times anytime or join the two you use plus now let's see questions